In this exercise, we're going to run a simple multiple regression model, we'll do some basic interpretation of the output, and we'll make a prediction using our output. All this will be done using SPSS. I'm in SPSS right now, and I'm in my data view. The data set that we're going to be using for this exercise, if you're in my class, you're familiar with the Roller Derby data set. For those of you not familiar with it, this is about <clears throat> almost a thousand records of San Diego County residents who are responding to their attitudes and opinions regarding roller derby. For this particular exercise, there's three variables that are interesting us, are interest to us. First, we are going to be using the overall attitude someone had towards roller derby. This question is based off of six individual questions asked as Likert scale style questions regarding their attitude towards roller derby. And then we took the average of those six questions. Thus, Here's a histogram of the variable that's our dependent variable, attitude towards roller derby, ranging from negative 2 to positive 2. Looking at these values, we see a lot of people have a neutral or slightly positive attitude towards roller derby. A few people have an extremely positive attitude towards roller derby, while there is a large chunk here that have a negative attitude. And it is a, if we blur our eyes sufficiently, it looks like a vaguely normal distribution. Okay? So, <clears throat> Now, that's our dependent variable. The other two variables that are going to interest us, we'll bring into our regression model here. These will be our predictors. So we go to Analyze, Regression, in this case, Linear Regression. There's two variables that we'll be using. Our dependent variable here, the average underscore roller derby evaluation. We grab that from our selection box. That's our dependent. Our independent variables are first is gender, so D underscore gender, male or female. And then another question we have was, whether or not someone liked watching women's sports in general. So this question variable is called P underscore like underscore WMN. And we go ahead and brought that variable into our independent variable. So we have two predictors predicting whether or not someone uh, likes their, uh, someone's overall attitude towards roller derby. And then naively, we might generate a hypothesis that says uh, and the more you like watching women's sports in general, the more you like watching roller derby. And perhaps we might suspect that uh, women, compared to men, uh, tend to have a more favorable attitude towards roller derby. Um, we're not going to leave all of our default settings for our regression model here, but we will click under the statistics button, and we will check the confidence intervals box. Let's go ahead and run our menu, uh, run our syntax, and we get a series of output. Now we're doing a very basic interpretation of the output today, so we're going to be skipping over a lot of details. Um, it's important to consult these other pieces of information, but we're ignoring them for now for this simple uh, exercise. We're going to go down to our coefficients table here. And our goal is we want to be able to draw up the regression equation that is derived from our analysis. So we'll draw our attention to our rows, which is a constant, our gender variable, and our women's sporting event uh, watching variable. And we will all draw our attention to the column unstandardized coefficients. Notice the beta. Uh, we have a negative 0.2 for the constant. Uh, 0.02 for the gender, and 0.31 uh, if we round a little bit for the women's variable. If we look a little further over to the right, we'll notice that the constant is significant. Uh, this is not particularly interesting. The gender variable is actually not statistically significant. Our sig value here is less than 0.05, while our uh, interest in watching women's sporting events is highly statistically significant. In this particular case, we're going to be using all these variables, even though one is not statistically significant. To do this, we will document these three values, negative 0.20 corresponding to the constant, 0.02 corresponding to gender, and 0.31 corresponding to the women's variable. So based on those three values, we can derive our regression equation. Our regression equation is the general form y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 times x1 plus beta 2 times x2 plus error. There's always some error left over in those regression models. Let's put some uh, meaning into these words. So we're trying to predict overall attitude about roller derby. And beta 0 is our constant or our y-intercept. That value is uh, negative 0.2 plus beta 1, uh, next one, that's our that was our gender variable. So we'll plug in 0 0.02 and we'll call that gender plus 0.31 and that was our women's uh, sports, so we'll call it WN Sports. Sure enough, we're able to generate our regression formula. We can use this to now make predictions. So to illustrate this, let's imagine the following scenario. If a male 
and really likes watching women's sports, what would we predict their attitude to roller derby to be? So we're going to use these characteristics to make a prediction about our y variable right here. So the question would be, to solve this equation, we simply need to plug in some values for gender and for women's sports. And the question is, well, what should those values be? We know we need to know, we know what a male number is and really liking watching women's sports is. The best way to do this would be to go to SPSS and go to our variable view of our data. And we're really look, trying to look for the code book that tells us what these values mean. Let's go to our variable p underscore like underscore w m n. And if we click under the values, we'll see that values of liking a great deal, so people who really liked women watching women's sports were coded as a 2.0. Thus, we know to plug a 2.0 into our equation. And the question is, what is the code value used for men? If we go down to our gender variable, we see d underscore gender here under values. We see that women were coded as ones and males were coded as zeros. So we'll keep in mind that a zero is equals a male for this equation. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. Males are zero. And people who really like women's sports are coded as a two. And then if we do just a little algebra here, we arrive to negative point two, can multiply by zero. 0.62 and equals overall 0.42. Okay, so that's our prediction. The question is, what the heck does this prediction mean? If we go back to our output and look at our histogram that we ran, we'll remind ourselves that positive 2 for attitude is the overall most favorable evaluation, negative 2 is the worst. Anything above 0 is slightly positive, so we would predict someone right around here if they're male and they like watching women's sports, so they have a mildly positive, uh, favorable attitude towards what? Uh, roller derby in general. Up here in the corner we notice that the average overall score was negative 0.14. So this implies that our male who likes watching women's sports compared to the average overall um, would in fact uh, like uh, have an overall positive favorable attitude towards roller derby. Okay. Again, I'd like to warn you we have skipped over a lot of important details here when we're talking about uh, running and interpreting and making predictions using multiple regression. But this is a good place to start and it does do a wonderful job of illustrating uh, the basic sort of applications that marketers often have for using uh, regression.